Yep, this is definitely not the time of the year that you want your snow blower out of commission. But it's also definitely not the time of the year that you're going to break anything else but your snow blower. Did that thing start or did it just leave its lights on for funsies? Oh no, that's just really quiet. Hey look, you can't even see my license plate. I'd get a fine for that one. And that's what I talk about when I say GM screwed up. Indented license plate holders are dumb. And that is why. But uh, yeah, as you can tell, still snowing like a son of a bitch out here. It's about 8 o'clock at night. And I'm gonna let this thing heat up. Just wanna come out and check on my tire. Yeah, holding there now. Lovely. I haven't filled it since the last time you saw me fill it. Whatever that means. Holy shit! I've just been in here for a couple seconds vaping and it's already foggier than frig. Mainly because I don't have the heat going and I have no source of exhausting the uh, vape. But I've been doing some research on the um, the whole gearbox assembly. Holy friggin' vaping in here much? There, that's a little better. But I've been doing some research on the entire gearbox setup on that uh, Arians. And apparently this is a common fault. And apparently what it is, um, okay, so the way it works is you have that shaft coming off the ass end that's hooked up to a pulley, which is hooked up to the drive, so on and so forth, like up to the impeller. Impeller spins, fires snow up, also spins shaft, which hooks into a I think they called it a worm gear that goes into like another gear. So like the worm gear looks like a drill bit, kind of. And then it sits on top of another gear, which is just a great big friggin' round circular thing with slots in it. And that's what drives your front auger. People are saying the worm gear is shit and it wears out really quickly. And what's basically happening with my blower is the worm gear isn't catching onto the teeth of the... Um, the other gear, the big round one that basically transfers the power from being spinny this way to being spinny this way, you know, in and out. Uh, I don't have the proper terms. I'm not a mechanic. I've told you guys that thousands of times before. So I talked to Pug One about it because, you know, he's pretty good at figuring out problems like this and finding quick fixes and stuff just to get the job done for the time being. And he recommended, like, take it apart, see how bad it is. Maybe I can use a washer or five to shim it to get it to make contact so that it'll actually work. And if not, you know, I could always try and find a gearbox from another one and try and make it work or see if I can measure out the size of that worm gear or whatever gear is broken. If it's the worm gear or the other big round one, maybe I can find another one from another snowblower, maybe MTD or, you know, I could talk to Rex and see if he has any old snowblowers kicking around in his hoard and I can just salvage some parts out of one to bring mine back to life. You know, that's an option, but I don't know. I looked at the, uh, here, I'll even show you the exploded version right now. Hopefully I remember to put it up, but here's the exploded version of the gearbox and you'll get an idea as to what I'm up against and it doesn't look too complex like there's a lot of little parts like bearings and washers and grommets and seals and all that stuff and I'm assuming there's grease packed into the gearbox too which I'll find out about when I actually open it up and take a look but that won't be anytime soon because first problem no light in the garage all the ballasts are currently on vacation they're down in the Dominican getting drunk poolside they quit so I have no light options in the garage, none of the friggin' fluorescents want to fire. So that's a new project to add to my whiteboard in the spring is to buy ballasts that can deal with winter cold climates. And if they make bulbs for it too, then awesome. I can either go that route or say, screw the fluorescents, rip them all out and put an LED lighting in the garage. It'll be cheaper on power because they consume less watts and it'd be just as bright and they would fire in the winter and it'd be zero ZFG mode activated all the time every time which would be awesome so that's another project to add to the friggin whiteboard I already have um, well I added the snow blower already I'm gonna add the lighting I got other things I got to do I got so much work to do these next two days off I'm gonna be busy uh, mainly because I need to replace my scraper shovel because mine's broken I didn't realize it until I used it today started scraping and then realized holy crap why is the head on this thing moving Moving around like the actual shovel head was moving around way too much and then I realized oh because it's got a huge crack from the hand like where the uh, the shaft comes in to meet the actual snow scoop uh, shovel part she's cracked right down the center so it's fried the only shovel I have left is my little scoop and lift and shovel so I'm gonna go to crappy tire tomorrow and pick up a nice shovel there so I can something ergonomic so I don't have to like rip my spine out while shoveling the snow because uh, we got a lot of snow tonight and this ain't planning on letting up until sometime tomorrow maybe Friday could be on Sunday like bad time for the blower to be out of commission but you know what this is gonna be exercise and I kind of need that kind and uh, good times so I'm gonna go scoop one of those up I seen Adrian already has one of these shovels and even he said they're a godsend 
obviously snow blowing beats its ass by like a thousand miles but if you're stuck with a shovel that's the shovel you want so I can use that shovel to lift the snow or scrape the snow basically one shovel to do all the jobs and I'll be out there getting exercise which is probably a good thing because I do want to lose weight unlike you know I wasn't told by the doctor or anything lose weight or you're gonna die or anything I just want to lose weight for the sake of losing weight so that's uh, my own personal goal I don't have a set or anything I just want to get rid of the old gut you know the old cheeseburger locker I say that after I had a cheeseburger tonight for frig sakes but I was hungry it was there I ate it leave me alone don't judge this weekend well on my virtual weekend I had this old computer dad gave to me uh, it was his old Acer laptop Funny story, it used to be my Acer laptop, and then I gave it to him, and then he used it for a bit, it got too slow, so he bought a new Acer laptop and gave it back to me. Well, I want to reformat it and put Windows uh, Windows back onto it, because it runs like a turtle on a crutch with Windows Vista, so I was going to put Windows 7 onto it and see what it does. And I'm probably going to use that, that laptop there in uh, the bedroom as my entertainment laptop, because that Dell is acting really, really, really funky. So I was thinking about doing that. Plus, I got some other work I want to do around the house, so uh, it's going to be a busy weekend. But that's fine. That's fine. That'll keep me motivated and, you know, all that and busy and lots of coffee. We'll get drank and uh, I don't even know if we'll be playing any video games on Thursday or Friday. No idea. Just going to roll with the punches and uh, take them as they come. I'll frig it. All right. It's 12.07 p.m. or a.m. Sorry. Look at that. It's actually warmer now than it was earlier, and it's totally dark out. That is awesome. Kinda sorta, but probably not, because we're gonna get more snow. I just cleaned a whole bunch off the car, and there's still a whole bunch left to come tonight. So, something to look forward to, probably. Anyway, people, we're gonna head her home. Let's boot it, whatever that means. So that was fun to carve through. I can't believe how warm it is out right now. Oh, I almost threw up in my mouth. But, uh, yeah, it's stupid warm out right now. Anyway, I got some mail in here. Probably just flyers. Yep, just flyers. Anything else of interest? Apparently. What is else in there? What else is in there? Oh, nothing. I need to spray paint this mailbox this summer. <laughs> before it starts getting holy. But, uh, yep. Let's go let the dog out. He's right at the door anyway, so, well, at least he was when I was at work. Oh, shit, what the hell's going on with my doorknob? Oh, okay. oh, oh, I guess he's going for a shit. I guess he's going for a shit. Well, now that it's nighttime, I guess we can uh, come in here into the living room where it's freaking super dark. Would you get off me already? Jesus. And, uh... Let's turn off the light on the camera and just see how awesome 1300 lumens of LED light looks. Oh, that's not very impressive. It's not very impressive at all. All right, that's just the, the lumens of the LED bulb. Oh, it's getting a little brighter. It's getting a little better. But then if we turn on the other bulb, this is the other bulb. So, you know what? The LED bulb is actually brighter. Well, shit, yeah. Let's leave that on and we'll see how it affects the camera footage. Because, um, we'll let that one warm up. Some people said these bulbs last them like three days and then they just stopped working. So, I really want to give it the run. I'm just going to let it run by itself. Normally it's really bright down here with just that one light going. But, uh, we'll take a look at the dealing software here. Uh, cancel, main room. And it's going to bring us into the main room here. And... So it's pretty bright with just that SMD LED going. That's not too bad. So, you know, and it's bright enough for me. Would you not jump at me all the friggin' time? Like, really, you need to stop. You need to stop with your bouncing. Oh, my goodness. You're fucking 10-ply, bud. So, yeah, back talking about the blower. I uh, went on eBay and just for shits and giggles typed in uh, Arians ST824. That's the model number of my blower. 
And they had on there the actual shaft with that uh, worm gear, I guess they call it. And then they also had the uh, the brass, it's brass, the, the, the ring gear that goes inside that the worm gear spins on to make it spin like this so that the auger spins with it, right? Well, they had that on there too. And the combination for both the, um, the ring gear um, and the, uh, the shaft was 149 US dollars. Which would come out 150 US with the conversion, probably around 172 dollars Canadian. I only paid 150 dollars for that friggin' blower back in 2009. Like, yes, I'm aware the price I paid for it and how long it served me, it's basically paid for itself. You know, it's basically saved my ass many times cleaning the driveway. So it definitely paid for itself. I'm not thinking, like, what a piece of junk, oh, it broke down, blah, blah, blah. But uh, those parts are expensive. So now my big question is, is what other brands use the same style as the Arians ST824 that I may find in a scrapyard that I could totally salvage and steal parts from? But first, before I even consider doing that, I got to take apart the gearbox and see what exactly broke, right? I need to know if it's... The worm gear that broke, or that brass, a lot of people uh, even, uh, uh, he used to go by Pepper Cat Keith, but now he's Arctic Cat Keith. I watched his video about it. And that's a guy who makes uh, videos that are freaking awesome for people like me who don't know, understand this shit and want to get an idea as to what's going on and what to look forward to. You know, he runs a repair shop out of his, well, he has a repair shop, and he fixes all small engine nonsense like snow blowers, lawn tractors. Uh, skidoos, all sorts of shit like that, you know, he's always at it, ATVs and nonsense. And he's fixed so many different brands, he's come across the same problem on so many. And he mentions that in his videos, and he was talking about how this brass gear, just over time, loses all of its teeth, because as it gets cold, it gets brittle, and instead of just cracking and falling apart, it shaves it or some shit. So I'm thinking that's the part that's the problem. Now you gotta remember, this year, like th this Arians model that I have, They've been making that since 1990 to 1994, so that's like a four-generation run of the Arians uh, ST824 with the Tecumseh motor. So, it's currently 2015. That blower is 30 years old. 31 years old. The fact that it lasted this long, I'm impressed, you know. I will totally fix it up. Even if I don't do it till spring, I don't mind shoveling. I can use the exercise, you know. It'll do me some good. So I have no problems with that, but uh, I'm sure I'll find something somewhere. I'll figure something out, but uh, yeah. And that light, the longer I leave that light going, the brighter it gets in here. So maybe that was a good buy. You know, if I need more light, I can always turn that lamp on. And when the TV's running, forget about it. That thing's just like oh, the sun turned on, you know what I'm saying? So tomorrow, one thing I want to do, because I'm going to be starting to shovel, and like I mentioned in the car, my scraper's fried. It's got a huge crack on it. I'll probably get a couple pushes out of it before it completely severs itself and then just becomes a post. Uh, I want to go to Crappy Tire. They got these nice shovels. Mom and Dad have one. I've used it. I love it. It's great for lifting snow. It's great for pushing snow. And you don't have to bend over. You can stay upright and use your arms like you're supposed to do, not put lower like stress on your lower spine. Which you're not supposed to do because that's how you fuck shit up and that's how you end up in a in a hospital bed getting friggin IV morphine which could be pretty awesome but I'm gonna try and avoid that kind and they're about 30 bucks for the shovel so I'm gonna go scoop one of those up tomorrow but I'm probably gonna have to nail the end of my driveway before I do that because that's ridiculous and then while I'm out I was thinking about uh, bringing all my empties back to the beer store because my goodness I got enough of them so uh, that's gonna be tomorrow and then I want to go to I think it's Freshco has it I need to go buy some stuff because I want to make a Vietnamese dish called pho I think that's how you pronounce it pho and I want to try and make it either that or something else but I know I want to try and make something tomorrow that's completely different off the charts and healthy for you and I want to ch basically I've been working on getting rid of all the processed shit out of my freezer like the pogos I'm not going to waste food I'm not going to throw shit out I'm, I bought it I'm going to eat it and then I want to get some more healthier stuff like I need to buy more apples because I freaking love apples. They're so good for you. And did you know if you're lactose intolerant, if you eat an apple before having a glass of milk, you won't be as sick as you would if you just drank a glass of milk because apples have something in them that helps break down the lactose. 
Yeah, the more you know. Jesus, scampers, what are you doing? Digging the frickin' China? Take it easy. Like the easiest dish I could repair, uh, I could repair, no, prepare, would be rice. That'd be the easiest dish, but apparently pho <coughs> is like their national thing. Like their national soup, and I really want to try and clone it, so probably going to give that a go tomorrow. Um, yeah, so on that note, I don't know what else I'm going to be doing tonight. Probably going to be editing some videos, chatting with some friends, and getting to bed early because I have a feeling tomorrow that driveway is going to be a hour and a half to deal with until I get that new shovel, which is freaking awesome. Like I said, mom and dad. Like dad fired up his blower maybe three times this year because he said it's so much easier to shovel it and you get a better job done. Like he would sit there and run the blower and the blower doesn't go right down to the pavement or in his case is interlocking brick. So he would sit there and he'd blow it and then he would get out there with a scraper and scrape it anyway just to make it bare. So he might as well just say frig it and just scrape it. Be done with it unless it's like super bad heavy friggin ultra mega super snow. Then it's kind of nice to blow all the thick shit off and then just deal with the base bottom you know but. Anyway people. That'd be my video for today. Also, I'm kind of happy I didn't film my drive home because I think if I did, I probably would have killed friggin' Easy Fun Shine. Probably would have killed her. She almost... Is <laughs> okay, here's the situation. Remember how I keep saying Fisher should be a one-way street in the winter? Well, tonight that would have really helped out. We had a city bus that was basically out of commission returning back to base camp, but it still had passengers, so it was still stopping to let people off. But he was taking up our entire lane. So... He pulls over to let somebody out, I decide to pass him, and behind me is a pickup truck passing me. Now, the, when the pickup truck passed me, he went into the incoming traffic lane. So, I got a bus over here, I'm here, and this pickup over here, alright? So he's coming off, like he's coming off from me on the left hand side. That spooked me out when I saw him, like holy shit, what are you doing? Like why are you doing this? That's not a lane for you. He gets around and then he pulls into the right hand lane. And then we stop off at the light. I'm like, okay, not a problem. Light turns green. We both start going. He slept a bit, so I pulled ahead. So I'm ahead of him. All of a sudden, he comes up on this side of me between me and the snowbank, and I could just catch it in the corner of my eye. He's freaking riding on the snowbank. Like, he's kind of like this on the snowbank, totally skiing it. And I'm like, oh, God. So I let off the throttle and start slowing down to let him in front of me because I knew for a fact that if he caught something bad in that snowbank, he's gonna get shunted over to me and I'm gonna have a bad day. And he's probably not gonna stop either after he takes me out. He's just gonna keep going because his pickup truck was like a 1980s piece of shit with more primer than paint onto it. So he really doesn't care if he ruins his ride or if he ruins anybody else's ride. So I was like, yeah, I better get the frig out of this guy's way because obviously, you know, it's midnight, he's got a place to be. Maybe he got a text from his old lady saying, hey, want a blowy? Get here in five. I don't know. I don't freaking know. I don't know, but. The way he was driving was ruthless. I couldn't get a license plate number because he was one of the dicks that doesn't clean off his license plate because it was a GM and GM likes to countersink your license plates so that they get covered in snow in the winter and nobody can tell who you are. But uh, I just let it go and I just stayed the frig out of the way because I didn't want to deal with that nonsense. But my goodness, weather like this, there's no need to be a reckless driver. Just take your time or otherwise you're gonna end up in the ditch or worst, dead. But. Anyway, on that note, thanks for watching my video. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, click the like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, stow them down below. Will there be new games on the gaming channel? I friggin' hope so. I want to get some more done soon. I still got to play some others and edit up some more and some other stuff and junk and garbage and blah. But we'll see. It's coming. So on that note, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, comment, all that bullshit. Uh, comments can be used on commenting on comments. If you leave it in the form of a question, I'll probably answer you on there. And on that note, people, thanks for watching. And keep on vlogging.